Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to network with your Android phone. I've seen a lot of people post about connecting USB cables to transfer and how to get it in mass storage mode and so on. You really don't need to do that unless you're transferring massive amounts of uh, files like a whole catalogue of music and so on. Um, otherwise it's not needed to uh, to do that via cable. You can do it all over the wireless, it's really quite easy. There's an app called ES File Explorer on the Android market which is um, free. This is it. And uh, it allows you to transfer between your phone, your network, so any computer on your network, your web space, you can add multiple FTP sites on there, uh, and it also supports Dropbox and other online storage solutions as well as Bluetooth connectivity as well. Uh, I'm going to load my one up. Oh, before I begin though, I am using a Galaxy S2. This is running Ice Cream Sandwich with the ICS theme by Vertimus on XDA. I'll put the links on my uh, description below. This is quite good at the moment. The, I'm also recording this video with uh, Galaxy S2 running Ice Cream Sandwich and you probably noticed that the sound is stereo, which is one of the uh, benefits of ICS on the S2. Uh, all the features are there, it's really quite polished and uh, everything sort of, everything works. No problems at all so far. This is LP7. There is another version called LPQ. Uh, LP7 fixes a bug in SMS sending if you're using third-party SMS apps where they'd send twice. Uh, it also improves smoothness of uh, scrolling, so scrolling felt a bit rubber bandy on LPQ, but it's all fixed in this one. Alright, so let's load up ES File Explorer. I'm gonna take a picture with my camera first actually and then I'll transfer that to my computer then from the computer to my FTP and then show you how to link that online as well so pretty much everything you want to you'd normally use a laptop for or maybe a tablet you can do via your phone um, let's just load up the camera I'll take a picture of my desktop there okay so there we go, there's a picture I've just taken. Let's browse to that on uh, ES File Explorer. Another good thing about ES is you can bookmark favourite locations, and these bookmarks are specific to the mode you're in. So if you bookmark something on your network, it will stay within the network tab. You swipe across to view the alternative mode, so this is local storage mode. I can browse my phone storage here, SD card and so on. This is the LAN mode. I've already added my computers on, but simple case of clicking the add new button and then adding the server details, for example the IP address, username, password and so on. Uh, once you've input those, you're ready to go. Swipe again. This is the FTP area where you've got your own website. You can add those details here, connect to them and uh, manage files on your website as well, which is quite handy. This is the net tab. From here you can add Dropbox, Box and SugarSync. I don't know if you can add new ones. No, you can't. So just those three at the moment. And we're back to the local storage. So if I browse to the camera folder where I've just taken that picture, that's it. And what I'll do, I'll copy this and then swipe over to my computer and put that on my desktop now on Windows 7 so users folders and users desktop and then whenever you copy something to ES's clipboard it comes up down here in a tab so all the items will be shown here uh, all you've got to do is either click on it or menu operations paste uh, my text is black here at the moment it's just a little bug in um, the theme that I'm using but that will be solved in no time. You probably saw up there it flashed up quickly. Uh, any operations via ES will show up here as a progress dialog. And if I load up the picture that's just been placed on the desktop here, and uh, it should be all there. Now what I'm going to do now is copy that picture. So we're still on the network here. You can see there the bar is scrolling across to show the address. Copy the image. 
scroll over to the FTP tab and then I'll post it in my temp folder I've got a temp directory where I put all the images and things so just for the sake of this demonstration and then paste now you can see that's uploading and now if you go to the browser I'm using ICS Browser Plus um, the stock ICS browser is very good but Plus version allows you to customize the quick buttons here so I don't have an address bar at the top anymore I have a quick one so you can access things a lot easier so I'll access my uh, directory where I've got all my temp stuff if I sort by date that should be the picture that I've uh, just uploaded yep so it's easy as that and then from here on you can just uh, copy the link and then paste it on a website blog or Facebook or wherever and um, that's sort of how to quickly and easily multitask or multi-network in um, Android. Uh, this has been shown on ICS, you don't have to do it in ICS, it works with Gingerbread or any other version of Android which is uh, supported by ES File Explorer. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, I hope to do more as, uh, as time goes on. I am looking to get the S3 so I'll be doing a comparison of the S2 vs S3 and uh, hopefully people find that quite entertaining as well. Thanks.